Today we'll look at the adjustment panel. The adjustments icon looks like a magic wand. Tap to open. The top section is devoted to adjustments and the bottom section is filled with filters. First up, hue, saturation, and brighten. Choose layer to adjust the whole layer or pencil if you want a specific part of it. Once you choose, you'll see sliders. Here you can adjust the variety of color, the variety of saturation or intensity, and the brightness and darkness of the image. Tap the layer and a menu will pop up. Here you can choose what you want to do. Review allows you to see it in comparison to what you had. And if you like it, just hit apply. If we choose pencil mode, you'll see that your pencil is drawing now. You can watch it build as you draw. You can see it only changes where you draw. Color balance will bring up a set of sliders allowing you to change individual colors. Curves will bring up a histogram and on here you can change the graph and you can also add individual dots in between and then tweak it the way you want. It's just another way of doing adjustments. Last, we have the gradient map. Here you'll find preset gradients. You can scroll through and apply color changes. The next three all soften the image and create blur. A Gaussian blur will create an all over soft effect on your selected layer. Slide to adjust. It almost brings it in and out of focus. A motion blur will create a blur from a specific direction. Kind of like car lights as they ride by. And perspective will give you a point. You pl place your point and it will blur from that position. As you move it around, you can see the direction of the blur changes. Noise will create a grainy filter over top of your layer. You will be able to choose the kind of grain you apply. There are also sliders at the bottom to adjust the degree of grain, getting it just the way you want. Sharpen does just that. It sharpens your image. These are already pretty sharp, so it's not gonna have much. Bloom acts like a glowing light and again, there are sliders on the bottom to change the degree of effect. Glitch is inspired by digital media. Again, you can adjust the size and amount of your glitch. Halftone is inspired by newspaper or print and gives us those kind of pop art qualities, kind of like a Lichtenstein painting. Color aberration will shift the red and blue planes of your color. Liquify works with your pencil and will allow you to kind of make your painting drippy. There's presets of ways you can swirl your color. And last is your clone. Hover the circle on one area of your painting. Then move your pencil to another to draw. It will clone that area where your pencil is. As you see, the adjustment panel allows you to edit, adjust, and manipulate your image. I look forward to seeing how you incorporate this into your work.